Welcome back to a new time series analysis tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about how we can do forecasts using the stats forecast library. I'm going to show you how you can use the library and I'm going to be explaining when it's useful. Let's start coding. I'm in the VS code, but you can use any code editor that you want. And I'm going to create a file like time series forecasting. And I'm going to go with a Jupyter notebook. I'm going to create a code cell, select my kernel. Next up, Let's talk about our framework for time series forecasting. So our framework is going to be stats forecast and it's designed for speed and accuracy. At the first place, we need to make the installation. So we will say with terminal, if you are using Windows, you will say pip. If you are using Mac, you will say pip3 install stats forecast. And when you make this run, you are going to have the library. And let me show you the version that I'm using on the tutorial like i'm using the version one the sorry one seven eight okay so you can install the specific version too and let's directly start coding so we will say import numpy as mp import pandas as pd import matplotlib pyplot as plt at the first place for visualization side we will say from stat forecast import stats forecast class and we will say from stats forecast that models import auto arima exponential smoothing and seasonal naive for simple baseline models also we can install the name like this okay for this tutorial, I created codes for creating a data set, so I will directly pass them. And if you want to have a similar data, you can just use the same codes. And here, let me show you. We have a code like this for the data creation. And now I'm going to create a data frame with this information. And let's see the data frame we have right now. We have a data with dates and sale values on a store let's visualize for seeing the data type so plt.plot we can see the trends clearer like this data frame y and our label is going to be sales like this okay let's give it a title like sales data and add a grid and we can show like this okay we have an upward trend we have monthly seasonality and a random noise great let's forecast with stats forecast so i'm going to define a horizon and it's going to be the period that we are going to be forecasting and train data frame will be data frame we are going to take it like this and test data frame is going to be data frame this time we will pass horizon firstly like this and let me show you the length of dm train data frame and length of the test data frame okay great now we need to define the models that we are going to use like let's say models and i will pass auto arima Exponential smoothing, new base and seasonal new, and we are going to say seasonal length 30. And we are going to have our models ready on this side. And I don't want to see any type of depreciation warnings, so I will say import warnings, warnings, filter warnings, ignore. Like when I make this run, I'm not going to get a depreciation warning. Great. Now I will say stats forecast object stats forecast we are going to initialize it like this data frame will be train data frame models will be models and frequency is going to be daily so we have this right now now what we are going to do is we will say forecast data frame and it's going to be stats forecast dot forecast and we will pass the horizon like this and here we have our models ready it's this easy and i'm going to call the forecast data frame 
and we can see that we have a forecast for the horizon 14 days from each model we can see in our data frame and now I'm going to define a function for plotting for seeing this forecast define plot forecast train test forecast and model name is going to be their inputs and I will say plot train train y next up label will be train like this and after that I'm going to say plot test values like this label will be actual and let's add a color on this like let's say black for the actual values I'm going to use a capital letter on this side next up I will say color on this side and we are going to say like plot we are going to go with the forecasts right now test dates test not on there for the quotes y label actually not like this we will say forecast for the values and we will say model name dot values on this side and next up label will be forecast of the model name like this okay we are plotting the forecasts for the model and we are going to give a title like f string model name forecast versus actual we are going to add legend this time and let's add a grid and we will use plt.show so here is our function ready in here we take the inputs as training data testing data forecasts and model name and we plot the training data we plot the testing data and we plot the forecasted values now we are going to write a for loop like for model in forecast data frame that columns we will say plot forecast train data frame test data frame forecast data frame and we will pass model like this so i'm going to make this run and here we have our forecast results so here is our plot we can see that on the auto irma side we have a prediction like the orange line and on the exponential smoothing we have a prediction here name forecast we have here and i think seasonal name is the best performer it's closer to the actual values and in here we can make forecasts like this using stats forecast and we can simply use the column that we want for the model selection like in my opinion we can directly take the seasonal name from here like let me call it seasonal name and we can use this forecasts and that's it for the coding side it's this easy to make time series forecasting with stats forecast Thanks for watching. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.